Hi, in the previous video we covered the basics of implicit differentiation and in this video I'd like to solve a problem which is finding and classifying the stationary points of this curve which has been defined implicitly. I've pulled up the graph of the curve here, uh, x squared plus 2xy plus 3y squared equals 18 and you can see that we have an ellipse. So uh, to find the stationary point, as always, we're going to look for points where dy by dx equals 0. But to begin with, we need to differentiate both sides of the equation implicitly. So I'm effectively going to differentiate both sides with respect to x here. The x squared term, I just get 2x. Uh, they, I've got 2 times the derivative of x times y, so I need to apply the product rule here. Uh, so I get uh, x multiplied by dy by dx plus 1 times y. I did that exact example, exact example in the previous video, so go back to that if you're not sure. And then uh, 3y squared differentiates to give 6y, and then by the chain rule, we multiply by dy by dx. On the right-hand side, I differentiate with respect to x to get 0. Common mistake in these questions is to forget to do the easy part, um, which is you know differentiating the 18 to get 0. You can really mess it up if you leave the 18 in here or if you forget to differentiate the x squared, I'll say. Okay, so if we uh, rearrange this to get, well, okay, there's two ways to go from here. I can rearrange this to get an explicit formula for dy by dx, uh, as we've done before, and I'm going to do that to make a point, uh, and then we'll do it another way as well. So if we multiply out, I get 2x plus 2x times dy by dx plus 2y plus 6y times dy by dx equals 0, uh, and we can factorize then dy by dx times 2x plus 6y uh, is equal to minus 2x minus 2y, so we've got that dy by dx equals minus 2x minus 2y divided by 2x plus 6y. Okay. Now, if I want to find the stationary points, I want to know where dy by dx equals 0. So to make this fraction equal to 0, I need to make the numerator equal to 0. So I'd have to have minus 2x minus 2y equals 0. So that gives us uh, y is equal to minus x. Now, why did I hesitate a second ago? Because actually, if we just want to find the stationary points without necessarily finding an explicit formula for dy by dx, you can actually go back to this earlier step here and say, okay, well, where is dy by dx zero? Okay, so that term will be zero and that term will be zero. And then you see I would just get here straight to 2x plus 2y equals zero, which gives me y equals minus x more directly. Okay. Now, we've got to be a bit careful about interpreting this because it's not the case that any pair of points x and y that satisfy this relationship give us stationary points, right? y equals minus x, we know, uh, is a straight line. And in fact, uh, here I've plotted y equals minus x onto the original curve. So, um, so we've done all of this algebra to find, an, to, to, to find this line y equals minus x, but to work out where the stationary points are, we actually have to uh, solve this line y equals minus x simultaneously with uh, with the original with the original equation here. Okay. So uh, because we can see that the stationary points here they're not just uh, points that satisfy the blue line they have to be points that satisfy the blue line and they're also on the original curve. Okay, so they've got to be these two intersection points uh, that we're looking for here. Okay, so we're going to solve this simultaneously with uh, with y equals minus x. Uh, so that's fairly easy. I can just substitute in here uh, y for minus x. So I get x squared plus 2x times minus x plus 3 times minus x squared equals 18. So I get x squared minus 2x squared plus 3x squared equals 18. So what have I got here? I've got 2x squared equals 18. Uh, x squared equals 9, so x equals plus or minus 3, and of course y equals minus x then, so y will be minus or plus 3, so I've got stationary points uh, at 3 minus 3, 
uh, and also at minus three, three, and we can see uh, there are exactly the points that we've got here uh, on the curve. Okay, so we found the stationary points. Now the second problem uh, was to classify the stationary points, and we'll classify the stationary points using the second derivative uh, in the way that we usually do. Okay, so uh, to do that, um, I'm going to take uh, this previous one of this this line here, this third line of the working, and we're going to differentiate it again. Uh, to look at the second derivative. Now, I mean, you could, in theory, take this dy by dx equals and try to differentiate it using the quotient rule, but um, and you can try that and think about how it works out. But trust me, it's much easier to take uh, one of the lines that's still in this form uh, and to try to to differentiate that again. Okay, so um, so so let's take this. Uh, in fact, you might even be better off here doing it in the in the factored form but anyway I'm just going to go ahead and, and do this uh, and differentiate it as it is okay so if I differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x 2x differentiates to give 2 and I'm going to have to apply the product rule here to this x times dy by dx so I get x times d2y by dx squared leaving the x alone and differentiating dy by dx then I differentiate the x and leave the dy by dx alone. Uh, so I get uh, this. 2y uh, I differentiate implicitly to get 2 times dy dx. And 6y dy dx we're going to differentiate by the product rule and implicitly. So uh, let's keep pull the 6 out and just differentiate y times dy by dx. So I get dy by dx times dy by dx and then I'm going to get plus uh, 6y uh, here times d2y by dx squared. Oh, sorry, not the 6, because I've um, uh, factored out the 6. Sorry, so just uh, differentiate the uh, y, leave the dy by dx alone, and differentiate, and, uh, oh, and I'm covering it up slightly, and then we differentiate the uh, dy by dx and leave the y alone. Okay, so I get something like that. And on the right hand side, I differentiate again with respect to x and just get zero. Now, uh, what we remember, I mean, this could be quite awkward, right? I could again try and get an explicit expression here for d2y by dx squared. I could do that by factorizing those terms and rearranging as I did before. But we're at a stationary point. Okay, so we do have that dy by dx is equal to zero here. So looking at this expression that I've got, I can just take all of the dy by dx terms and say, okay, these are all equal to zero. So, uh, so that just gives me that we've got two plus two x times d2y by dx squared plus six y d2y by dx squared equals zero. Again, remember this is true just at the stationary point here. So um, we're going to have here that d2y by dx squared multiplied by 2x plus 6y is equal to minus 2. So d2y by dx squared is minus 2 over 2x plus 6y. And remember we'd found that our stationary points, uh, one of them was 3 minus 3. Okay, so if I... Uh, plug in x equals 3, y equals minus 3 into this, I get minus 2 divided by uh, 6 minus 18, so minus 12, so I get 1 sixth here, which is positive, so that stationary point should be a minimum, and if I put in minus 3, 3 uh, for x and y, I'm going to get minus 2 divided by minus 6 plus 18, so plus 12 here, so I get minus 1 6, that's negative, so that one is a maximum point, okay? So pretty crucial that we, uh, well, for, for the algebra to be easy, that we use this idea that at the stationary point, the first derivative is zero, um, and then we can substitute in to get the second derivative and use the same logic that we've always been using 
um, about about classifying stationary points. And in fact, if we go back um, to the curve here, we can see, of course, that uh, when x equals minus three, y equals so when x equals plus three, y equals minus three, we get a minimum. For x equals minus three, y equals plus three, uh, we get a maximum. And we see on the graph, so this seems to have worked as we'd hope. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there uh, for this video. Leave a note in the comment if there's uh, anything that's not clear, or if you've got any ideas for uh, other videos you'd like me to make, I try to respond to requests if I can, and I hope that was useful.